All right, so this is Pandas versus Mercenary in the Star Battle X Open Tournament from this year, from January 30th and 31st. In the top right, we have the Pandas. Yeah, we got Silver Wolf and Carrier. He's open five inch. Uh, Ghost on Colossus. Four shields, three missiles. Warlock on uh, frigates, standard opening, range, and uh, missile. Jack is on uh, Raven, he's open EMP. Boomer, Destro with uh, open mines, explosive charge. And Azel Eyes on uh, Guardian, open five asset spawn. Alright, then from the mercenaries we have Genghis Khan with five ends. Star Killer with Plague as an overlord. Lone Traveler with Five armor, five plating, 28 total plating, five armor upgrades. Oh, he wants to be a super tank. And we have Rar Nukes with shield recharge, 140 shields per second. We have Pulsar X with a lance opening, that's right, a lance opening as a Colossus. And Angelo going spores. This is the nice thing about mercenaries is that you actually get different openings with them, you know? Colossus Lance opening, you know, mix it up a little bit. Be unpredictable. I mean, would you ex would you be expecting a Lance opening going up against the mercenaries? No, I don't think so. Right? No. That caught us a little by surprise. But in a way, it's not a bad idea, you know, because uh, if they've been seeing Guardians so much, and they know that there's going to be Scourges on the first back, the lands can actually protect them a little bit against the Scourges if they do manage to get a good push. Problem is, is that their Dread is stalling a little bit and he's not really tanking everything and their carrier has gotten contained. So they are lose, they're down 200 on farm. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to uh, to stay actively in the game when they are dealing with this level of aggression. And that can be the, the problem, is that they, you know, he's out of energy, and he doesn't have the missiles uh, to, to push you out, and he doesn't have the shields to tank for his team. So that's kind of the problem with the lance opening, yeah? Yeah, they don't have enough uh, damage mid. And, and they have the, two the, tanks. Yeah, the, the Guardian is the vast majority of their damage. And he got two right. armor and two needles, so they don't have a missile boat. In my opinion, the problem with the lance opening is with the Raven on the other team. Constant denial of the MP is just makes it useless. And he's oh, got no reserve, you know, to pull oh. something else to push. Well, I mean, they managed to to poke Boomer a little bit, yeah. Got plagued enough times that uh, they could scare you off with interceptors. But you are going back with here, let's see, you got Ghost with 600, Warlock with 500, Agile with, actually only 350. Remember you have 400, Jack has 400, and Silver has 1100. Silver Wolf always, always so rich. He's the 1% man, he's the 1% right there. Do you, do you sometimes, as a team leader, want to redis redistribute the uh, the wealth in your team? Whoa, what just happened? Wow. Lag and replay, okay. Did TeamSpeak explode as well? I think... No, no, I can hear you. Okay. Whoa, what happened with Pulsar? Is that a real ship? Yeah. yeah, he got caught in the vortex, and Boomer dropped a mine in there before he could come out. And the team just uh, they just left him. They already gone back. Like usually, when the team is just completely ignoring someone trapped in a vortex like that, the uh, the impression is that it's a hallucination. But nope, no, that was real. And they're just like, well, we can't save him, and we don't want to lose another ship trying to save him. So we're just gonna back, spend our money. And make a big play here. Okay, what's the big play they're gonna do? They've got an observer. Over yeah, there in the crowd. 
All right, Genghis's big play is to come out with interceptors. All right, Rar nukes coming out with hallucination. Star coming out with plague and siphon. Angelo coming out with scourge. And um, Lone Traveler coming out with uh, four gats. Oh, but Angelo's scourges they got lanced. Poor, poor scourges. Hmm. The other downfall I see is when they go for upgrades, they just spend too long in the base. Too much time wasted. Well, they need to have, like, Lone Traveler coming out while the Scourges are launching, right? Because Angelo is out of energy now. But now Lone Traveler is coming to push, but he, he can't support the Scourges while uh, Lone is distracting all the lasers, right? Like, you want to yep. be coordinating a little bit more than that. Starkiller is now focusing on siphons on you, Boomer. I guess his thought is that he's going to siphon away your energy and then plague you. But he missed his plague, unfortunately. So... That kind of made both of them worthless. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they're, they're down 700 farm now. They... have a serious shortage of damage at the moment. That's their main issue. Rognux is sitting on his phantom. Kind of surprised he's not dropping another one here. He is recharging the shields alone. But he wants to have those phantoms out to distract the lances and stuff, right? To distract the imps. Now oh, there's the... So Warlock, you're going back with 600 here. How are you deciding what you're going to buy? Well, given the carrier's already got a Vortex, it's a good idea to get a Torpedo, so you can take advantage of the spell. Nice. And then Boomer, you're coming back with 600. And so you go uh, Protective Field at this point, once you have 300 plus energy. Uh, you go up to 400 energy with Protective Field and uh, bots, yeah? Yeah. Just getting tanky right now, so I can hold them. And seven lasers, no gats. No gats for you. Now, you don't get a range with your lasers. Um, I know I was talking with uh, Loco, and he insists that uh, that one range upgrade for the Dreadnought is very significant. Because it makes farming so much easier. What do you think? Range I up think it depends on the game, yeah. I, I do it normal games, yeah, but if you're on the sideline, the farm is going to come to you anyway. Hmm, so. okay. Uh, uh, now, do you, would you usually stay in one shot, or is that just because they have the, uh... I was fighting so much creep on my side from the, from the OB, and... They had carrier on my yeah. side as well, so I, I just got one shot, two kill. But yeah, definitely not a... Unless you're fighting a carrier, it's not necessarily usual to stay on one shot farm. I don't think I've seen Silver get scouts once. Is Silver philosophically opposed to scouts? Yeah, he, he texts him right at the tower. I don't agree with this. I've told Duma before. Like, texting in, like, near the tower is not good. You can just get away. Yeah, but I think when he's... You can save someone, you know? That's what the text is for, to save or to kill. To kill, you should be at least bef before behind the middle. But he's, oh, he's siege there. That was... That was something. I don't know. I mean, the Arbiter had Cloak, but... 
I, I guess he was imagining the Arbiter was going to be able to sit on top of him with your entire team there, and it's like, yeah, he can cloak you, but the Arbiter will die if he sits there and can be targeted. So if you don't have the DPS to actually push them off, then the Arbiter will have to back, at which point you die. But yeah, my guess would be that Silver was just like, uh, we're up 1300 farm, might as well just drop my spells when I can, right, because they're not leaving their base. But I think you're right, that's a safer play is to, to keep the Vortex handy so that you can, uh, you know, if they start to push out, maybe you can drop it on them then. But you're already taking towers, so... No, no. Yeah, the farm difficulty is just too big at this point. And there's pretty much just nothing they can do here. Oh, and they're in another vortex. Uh, your, your fusion isn't up though, you got 12 seconds on it. But, Boomer, you're going to be able to get your charge on them, aren't you? Oh, and the fusion comes up. Oh, this is... <laughs> they, they all die before the fusion even lands. Well, GG.